Hello students, Chapter 8 Decimals Standard 6. We learn how to add the decimal numbers in last session. And as I told you that uh, you have to be careful while putting the digits. All the decimal points will be one down the other and then so on and the uh, digit must be according to the place value in the same column. So let us start exercise 8.1. Question 1 is find sum in each of the following. A. 0 0.007 plus 8.5 plus 30.08 Now it will be not convenient to write down I mean add horizontally so we will write down them vertically So 0 0.007 plus now 8.5 so point must be here so we will write down 8.5 but for your convenient you can put the zeros at the back if you want to and then 30.08 so here 30 can come like that 30.08 and then here also 0 and here also if you want to put zeros or you can leave like that. Now very simple put the point below the points and start 7 plus 0 plus 0 is 7 0 plus 0 plus 8 is 8 0 plus 5 plus 0 is 5 0 plus 8 plus 0 is 8 and 3 so answer is 38.587 Let's take the next sum B in which 1.5 plus 0 0.632 plus 13.8 So here 1.5 then 0 0.632 and then 13.8 be careful point is like that and the first digit tens place tens place tens place in the same and so on so at the other places you can put zeros for your convenience at the back here also if you want to put zeros you can put not a problem so 0 plus 2 plus 0 is 2 0 plus 3 plus 0 is 3 5 plus 6 11 11 plus 8 is 19 and carry 1 so now 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 3 is 5 and then 1 so answer is 15.932 Let's take the C 27.076 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.004 So now 27.0 0 76 plus 0 0.55 and plus 0 0.004 so now you can put 0 here here also if you want to 6 plus 4 is 10 so carry 1 7 plus 1 8 8 plus 5 
13 carry 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, then the point, then the 7 and 2. So 27.630. D. 25.65 plus 9.005 plus 3.7. So now, 25.65 plus 9.005, so you can put the five, that zero extra here, here also, and plus 3.7, so zero, zero, here also you can put zero. And your answer is five, five, 6 plus 7 is 13, carry 1, 5 plus 1 6, 6 plus 9 15, 15, 17, 18, carry 1, so 2 plus 1 is 3. E, 0 0.75 plus 10.425 plus 2. So here 0 0.75 plus 10.425 plus 2 here. Now it is a whole number. There is no decimal point in it. In this situation, what will we do? Here, we will put 2, which is in the 1's place. So, 1's place is here. So, you can write down 2.000. And then you add 5 plus 2, 7, 11, carry 1, 2 plus 1, 3, and so. So, whenever there is a whole number, then it is according to that it is 2.00 so you have to write down uh, like that 280.69 plus 25.2 plus 38 so now 280.69 plus 25.2 means 20 and 38 as I told you it should be written as 38.00 so now 9 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 3 uh, 5 13 8 plus 1 9 10 11 12 13 14 carry 1 and 2 plus 1 is 3. So when you add the decimal numbers and if the number of digits after decimal are not equal then whatever place is empty at the back you can add zeros for your convenience. If you don't put zero here then also you only add that one. But it is better that we can put zero but not compulsory you have to put and then you have to add like the normal addition that we do now in question number two it's a word problem let's read it first Rasid spent rupees 35.75 means 35 rupees and 75 paise for maths book and rupees 32.60 means rupees 32 and 60 paise for the science book. Find the total amount spent by Rasi. So now we will write down them like this. Rupees 35.75 spent 
for maths book plus another 32.60 spent for science book so now the total amount spent by rasid that we have to find total amount means we have to add this to money to amount and that will be the final answer so here 5 plus 0 is 5 6 plus 7 13 point is there carry 1 5 plus 1 6 plus 2 8 and then it is 9 so 98.35 Therefore, Rasid spent total rupees ninety eight point thirty five. It means that he spent total for maths and science book together. There is the amount is rupees ninety eight point thirty five means ninety eight rupees and 35 paise all do together now let us do the next third question it is also a word problem it says that radhika's mother gave her rupees 10.50 mean 10 rupees 50 paise and her father gave rupees 15.80 so now find the total amount given to Radhika by the parents. So now we will write down them first rupees 10.50. That was given by mother. Given by mother. And the other amount was given by father that is rupees 15.80 so plus we will add rupees 15.80 given by father so now we have to add these two amounts so now 0 plus 0 is 0 5 plus 8 13 carry 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So, total amount. So, we can get the answer is that Radhika was given total rupees 26.30 by the parents so here we have to add them so that we can get the answer so here spend for the math and science book together and here the total amount given to Radhika by the parents now the fourth question Nasreen bought 3 meter 20 centimeter cloth for her shirt and 2 meter 5 centimeter cloth for her trousers find the total length of the cloth bought by her so now first here it is given in meter and centimeter so before adding we must convert them using decimal point into meter so cloth bought for shirt is is equal to 3 meter 20 centimeter that we can write down as 3 point now we know that 20 centimeter means 3.20 meters and cloth bought for trouser 
is 2 meter 5 centimeter now 5 centimeter you can't write down as 2.5 but it will be 2.05 meter that we already learn about it that how to convert meter and centimeter into meter so now we have to add them so now we will write down 3.20 meter cloth for shirt and plus 2.05 meter cloth for trouser so now we have to add them so now we have to add like a normal addition 5 2 and 5 total cloth what so now you can write down the answer therefore nasrin nasrin what total 5.25 meter or you can write down as 5 meter 25 centimeter cloth all together so you can write down this answer also or you can again write down it in the meter and centimeter like 5 meter 25 centimeter cloth so here we are going to finish the session and it will be followed by the pdf file and any confusion write down in the comment section thank you very much